Lovable, another AI software engineer. You can turn ideas into products 20 times faster than writing code. Using this AI software engineer, you just describe your idea, such as building a website or a chatbot. In just one click, you are able to create stunning websites like this and also applications. You also see various feedback in Twitter and many other different places. Here's a quick demo, building a project tracking tool. Then it creates the project tracking, ability to summarize the to-dos using OpenAI, then progress analytics dashboard. Then you're able to deploy in just one click. You've got stunning UI design, backend capability with Superbase. You can select and edit from the UI, two-way GitHub sync. You can prompt or commit from GitHub to change those. It supports large code base up to 100,000 lines, AI powered debugging and deploy in one click. I saw many people talking about this. So I just thought of creating a demo video and test this tool. In this, we'll be seeing how you can create to-do list app from scratch. Even if you're a beginner, you should be able to do it and save the data to database and set up authentication, everything without any coding. We just give prompt to the large language model. So step number one, creating a to-do list app. So here is a request, design a multi-user to-do list app with the ability to add tags to toss, mark toss as completed and manage user specific task lists seamlessly. Modern sleek design, app domain name mervinpraisen.app and clicking send. Now it's started working by writing the code and the app is ready now. I can try adding a task, Prazen AI project upgrade, clicking add task and I can see the task got added. So I can just click tick mark and it disappears. That is nice. I can click the sidebar and it says all tasks, tags and team. And this is not functional yet. Now I need the ability to add tags and the deadline. I'm going to say add tags and deadline when creating a task and clicking send. And here are the changes. Now I can add a task, select the tag, setting the deadline and add task. And the task got automatically added with the deadline. Just clicking the delete button and it's deleted. That is really nice. We have now completed creating the to-do list app from scratch. Next, we're gonna save the data in the database. So if I refresh the app, automatically the data, what we created gets disappeared. So we need to save this data in the database. To do that, we are going to use Superbase. This is one of the easiest way to store your data and for authentication, that is user login. So I'm going to open the dashboard, creating a new project naming it as to-do list project, setting up a password, then create new project. That's all you need to do. Now you can click the super base at the top and authenticate. After that, you should be able to see your to-do list app here. I'm clicking connect after that. Now approving the request. On the left hand side, you can see I'm now connecting to super base project. Now it says you can add users for authentication and store data. Also, you are able to add edge functions, which is more advanced or for more time consuming task. Now I'm saying save all the tasks to the database. Clicking send. The thing I like about this is that you are able to open this and preview in a new tab like this and able to test your application right in your browser. Next, you got the mobile view if you want to test how it looks in the mobile format. Also, you are able to select different elements from this page and able to ask questions or make modification. That is really nice. Now to create the database structure, this automatically generated all the required code, so you don't need to write any of these changes. If you are a developer, you know how much time it takes to create a database schema and add all these data in the database. And this does everything in like few minutes. According to the changed schema of the database, it's modifying the code now, and you are able to view that code and modify the code or edit the code directly here. If there is any error, it shows here, so I can just click this and click this try to fix it and it should automatically get the error and try to fix it. So you don't need to do anything of this. The main issue which I see when developing an application is to copy the error and paste it in the large language model or AI to fix the error. But here it's all integrated. Now it's ready. Now I'm going to add a task, then choosing the tag, setting the deadline and adding the task. It says authentication required. So this leads us to the next step. Step number four, set up authentication. So I'm going to Superbase and here you can see database and authentication. So first I'm going to show you the database which it got created. So you can see the list of tasks here. And then authentication, I'm going to add a new user, clicking on add new user and create new user. 
Now I can enter my email address and password. Now the user got created. Now I can go to providers. Here I have enabled only email login, but if I want to enable Google login or any other, I can just enable that here. As simple as that. Now coming back to Lovable, just saying implement authentication. That's all it takes. Clicking send. Now it's creating the login page. Authentication has been added with email and password. There's an error shown here. So just clicking it and the application is ready. Now I'm going to log in, going to add my email address. Now it got logged in. I can also see a logout button here, adding a task, setting the deadline and adding task. That is nice. That is a full fledged application created within five minutes. So I can even see this data in the database. So in Superbase, I came to the table editor. There I can see the task which I just created. That is really nice. I can improve this application from here if required, but I'm going to leave it here and let you improve from here. Also, just that you know, you got the upload image option. So even if you want to create a application by seeing the image, you can upload that here. You also have predefined templates to get started. That is really nice. Adding Superbase authentication is one of the highlight in regards to this project. Apart from that, this is very much similar to bolt.new. I'm really excited about this. Considering you already like AI app builder such as Lovable, I've also created another video about bolt.new, which I'll put the link in here. And I highly recommend for you to watch that on to get an understanding of how that looks like. And I will see you there.